Go for it. Gee, so, one, two, three, four, testing out this microphone, this piece of shit microphone, this piece of shit radio. Four, two, zero, testing, one, two, three, out. Yeah, now turn your monitor radio back on and do it again. The monitor is on, you can't hear it? Uh-uh. Oh, shit. You know what, I can turn the speakers towards me. Let me see here. All right, let's get a little bit more depth there. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I do have the monitor on, and I have the microphone approximately two inches from my mouth, and I'm speaking at a normal level, and we'll see how that goes. Split the difference on them monitors, man. Split the difference, because it, it all, I mean, there was none, and then there was some, and then it was gone again. So split the difference. Roger, let's see here. All right, we'll keep it about right there. How's that? Oh, my God. Talk to me, son. Get back in front of that mic and straighten your head up like it's supposed to be and talk to me. Roger, roger. 10-4. All right, we hope to get this shit done. Now, what I'm going to do now, <clears throat> I am in front of the microphone. I'm not moving away. And I'm going to turn on the EQ, just see what that does for shits and grins. Okay, I turn the equalizer on. So, I don't know if that makes it really super hot shit or super hot and shitty. So, let's check it out. Yeah, back off. Leave the, leave, leave the equalizer on and back off from the microphone just a little bit. Your face. Back your, mic, back your face off from the microphone like... Two inches. Ah. Can I get that? Let me see. Mm. Hold on. Okay. All right. <clears throat> yeah. So this is what you get. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. As long as I continue to talk and I interrupt that, then it won't squeal. So, and the, uh, the, the equalizer is turned on, and you've got the recording going. Now I'm going to turn the equalizer off, keep the same distance away from the microphone. Now I've got the equalizer turned back on. Check it out. All right, turn the speakers uh, a little bit more back towards you now. See, when you turn the equalizer on, it brought all the levels up on everything, so that's why it started feeding back. So leave the equalizer alone and just turn the speakers in towards you a little bit. Okay, you know, when I have the EQ on, though, there is a separate adjustment for volume on that, and that's, that's like 10 dB right now. So I can actually control the gain on the EQ, and we'll see if that does. We'll try that, and we'll turn down the gain on the EQ, and we'll stay steady up in front of that microphone, and perhaps that may have made things better. Yeah, leave it right there. Don't touch a thing. Now back off from the microphone about another inch. All right, how about that right there? That was about an inch. Uh, can you can you turn the monitor down just a skosh, man? I mean, just barely, barely turn the monitor down, barely. Okay, I did turn it down barely, and sometimes it has to do with the proximity of you know where I'm at with the microphone. Let's see, I turned it down barely, so that setting's at 24. And I'll save it to the profile if, that, if that's good. Are, are, have you got your head turned some way or another away from, like, is your head turned and your mouth up to the mic, or are you, like, cross-eyed, staring at the microphone like it's your nose? Uh, right now I'm cross-eyed at the microphone, but I was off to the side just a little bit, 
But I guess that doesn't work when you try to talk directly in the microphone. No matter what, you got to have your melon in front of this thing. Yeah, yeah, no sideways talking. That don't work for that mic. That that mic is the the frequency. The frequencies that it picks up, it don't pick up like that. It's it's dead on. I mean, like straight into the microphone. Yeah, but it don't pick. It doesn't pick much off to the side. So. Yeah, I think it sounds pretty good like that. I mean, coming through my ears, listening to my voice, kind of makes me want to puke. Yeah, well, when you were, your last couple words before you said puke was just like dead on, man. I mean, that was dead on. Nice broadcast quality. Yeah, sounds like you're calling the blue light at Kmart. It's awesome. I'm sure. I gotta find it. I gotta find a better. This fucking stand is not working right. It's because the microphone's so so heavy for this. Uh... Yeah. Amplifier is really hot. <clears throat> okay. There we go. I'll get right directly in front of that sucker just like that. Right there. Right now. Yeah, I mean, that's what you're going to have to do because the, the, the frequency... You know, the frequencies that microphone picks up, it won't, it's not omnidirectional. It won't get them, you know, 180 degrees. You got to be right in front of it, man. I know, and that's, that's a tough, that's a tough thing to remember, you know, because I like to, I like to do shit. <laughs> I'm just talking on radio. I, I fuck around with shit, too. Multitasking, you know. That's why you need to get you a, 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 a one of them mics you wear on your head, like a Bluetooth microphone. Oh, yeah, like a Heil. You ever see those? Yeah. One like Garth wears and Reba. Yeah, those things look nice. I wonder how they come across, though, on the audio. I can always shape it up anyway. I got a, I got a nice out processing equipment here, so it's definitely going to shape it up. You don't need to shape nothing up. You need to put your, your head in front of that microphone. <laughs> Just tell me that a hundred times and still won't get through. What? Yeah, and crank that monitor back down just a skosh more. It's just like right at wanting to... When you first key up, it can come down just a hair more. Or it's probably something you're doing by not planting that head, in, that melon in front of that microphone. I don't know what you're doing over there. But whatever you're doing, you ain't very consistent at it. Jesus! I know, I'm fucking annoying. God damn, I'm gonna have to get high. Well, I am. Maybe that's why you're you're annoying. <laughs> that's possible. <laughs> that's very possible. Yeah, maybe because you're not high is annoying. Right. Well, here we go. Oh, I'm high. Have, have you ever, um, I'm going to turn this monitor off, so we know it sounds good, so I'll turn it on, but you can understand me. Have you ever tried the, uh, the honey oils? No, I ain't been much on oils or dabs. Uh, neither one. Now, that fat chick that used to deliver my stuff, uh, that I had to bone for her tip out there, she, uh, she was a big dabs lady, but not me, man. Just give me some flour and let me coat my lungs with that crap so it bogs me down and I cough all the time. Yeah. Yeah, it makes me, it makes me cough, too. I mean, but yeah, like... And it, <clears throat> like, I constantly have this mucus and shit or phlegm or whatever. It's, it's irritating me, actually, but it's pretty strong shit. 
Yeah, what it is, man, that THC, you know, your whole respiratory system from your inside of your nose, you know, down down into your lungs, even in your lungs, has those little hairs in it, and that THC coats those hairs, and, and it just, after a while, they just all fall down, and that's what filters that mucus and stuff, and you, it's not filtering it, it starts building up, and you cough and hack and all that crap all the time, that's what it is. If you quit... For like six months, it'll, it'll all clear up. I don't know. I guess it's never going to clear up. <laughs> well, I will tell you this. The allergies this fall have been unbelievable. I, I don't think I've ever had such bad allergies as, as I have here this year. Even these dogs have got them. They sneeze all the time. And, their skin stays dry and one of them's just in agony all the time. I have to keep her doped up so she won't scratch her, her hide loose. She scratched till she gets raw. Yeah, this, um, two years in a row now, I was noticing it and I'm, I was telling Nancy, I go, man, I'm not, I'm, I'm really not feeling too good now. I feel like I can't think. You know, my memory's foggy and, of course, you know, people would blame it on the THC. But no, it was a little unusual for me, and man, I started taking uh, Claritin D, and I forgot, and even my daughter, she gets allergies this time of year, and that could be part of it, too. So, uh, you get, uh, do you get all dizzy and shit? Oh, yeah, sometimes I bend over, and when I stand up, it's just like blood rushing to my head and stuff, and yeah, I'll be sitting in a chair or something, and I'll have a spell, I mean, it's, it's something to do with this weather, man. You know, that's been happening to me for a month now. I was going to talk to my doctor about that tomorrow. Because, like, yeah, when I get up and I and I try not to get up so fast because I thought maybe that was, you know, the problem. But, uh, yeah, I've been getting, like, yeah, fucking, like, real busy and you've got to, like, close your eyes and shit. Yeah, equilibrium's all jacked up because your sinuses are so fucked up. I know. I, I've been there this year up here. I mean, it even got into my teeth, man. It had me thinking I had a cavity or something, you know, until the other side started hurting. And it, it, anyway, I went to the dentist, and he was like, took x and said, man, there's nothing wrong with your teeth. It's fine. So like, a lot of people have been in here doing that. It's allergies real bad this year. So, you know, that just reaffirmed my allergy consensus of the allergy span and the allergy strain. It's all this Zika. Zika is in the air. Can you feel the Zika coming in the air tonight? Hold on. Hold on. I don't know. It's something. More than likely, since the, uh, we're going into fall, you know, um, I think maybe it has something to do with that, perhaps. I don't know. Like, Holland and shit like that, like in the spring, can get me. But nothing like it's got me now here. So I might, I might, I might go see an allergist, man. That might be worthwhile. Have you seen an allergist? No, I ain't never had any reason to till I got up here this year. It's just terrible. It's worst, worst allergy symptoms I've ever, and sinus symptoms I've ever had anywhere in my life. Well, see, it's, it's it's not Delaware. What's going on, Tommy, is that the wind is blowing over from New Jersey. Okay, believe me. It's Jersey. It's Jersey. It's all them fucking chemtrails are spraying over New Jersey, trying to control mass populace. It's, it's kind of drifting over here, messing Billy, messing Billy up. It, it gets his medication adjustments out of whack, and he just goes off the deep end, like, deeper than usual. <laughs> oh, man. You haven't, you haven't heard the best of yet. This is going to be a source of entertainment, I guess, like when your, your wife's away. 